All right, let's talk to Eric now about the weather and uh, I don't know, is this exciting? I think it is. If you ask my six-year-old, it's the greatest thing that's happened in months, Eric. Wouldn't we all love to go back to that point? You're a kid, <laughs> yes. and there wasn't a commute, and there wasn't work, and there wasn't a party to get to. You would just say, it's snowing. This is great. And, uh, well, yes, it is going to be our first snowfall this season as we head into the weekend. First plowable as well, which means many of the DPW crews, private contractors, they get their first probably sleepless day and nights going on. We're talking about accumulating snowfall that will focus on the afternoon and evening. But we're not talking about big wind or coastal concerns with this one. So we're really just looking at the snow aspect of this storm. Now, if you go back to the last several Decembers, They've been quiet as can be the last few years. Most of them have been very warm as well. Now, 2010 is the last really big December we had, and I think this has the potential to be similar to 2010, both in the fact that it will be colder than average and likely snowier than average as well, that front-loaded winter theme. Temperatures tonight in the 30s to low 40s are cooling off, and if we take a look a little bit farther off toward the south, that cold air has filtered all the way down into Mexico. Basically, the only warm spots left now are South Florida as well as the West Coast. It's 80 in Los Angeles, and unfortunately, Fortunately for them, it will stay very warm and very dry with all those fires still raging in Los Angeles County. So here's a look at our storm system. That snow is falling in West Texas right now, even down into Juarez, Mexico. And overnight tonight, we'll likely see some snow settle into Louisiana and across much of the southeastern states. They could see an inch, maybe even two, of snowfall. Very unusual for this early in the season. We're looking at a chance for maybe a brief flurry this evening. Otherwise, partly cloudy skies. Temps in the 20s overnight, about 31 in Boston. And tomorrow, if you've got to dig out the shovels or the snow, blower get things ready nice day for it looking at temps that'll be close to 40 in the afternoon it'll be seasonably chilly outside a dry day and we'll be looking at uh, overall quiet conditions albeit a little bit grayer especially in the afternoon tomorrow then we get into our storm system. So we have that wave that's just sitting off the coastline. Area of low pressure moves up along it. So light snow will likely develop on Saturday morning. But most of this will be Saturday afternoon and evening into the first part of the night. A band of snow that will lift up across the region and then depart by the time we wake up on Sunday morning. And again, since it's not a big nor'easter type of thing, we don't have any major wind concerns or any flooding concerns with this one. Think easily. We'll see two to five inches of snow for most of the area. It'll be colder to the west. We might even see up to three inches of snow in western Mass and southern Vermont if it can back its way far enough to the west. And then if you look near the coastline, Cape Ann, including into downtown Boston, the south shore, and down toward Cape Cod, will likely see some rain mix in, or at the very least, we're going to get a really heavy, sloppy snowfall. So I think a coating to a couple of inches of snow is probably where we'll max out in those spots. This is a look at water temperatures. They're close to 50 degrees, so any onshore wind tends to bring in some of that mixing. So I think for for downtown Boston. We'll see some snowfall, yes, and perhaps our first inch of the season. But it'll be tough to really stack up because of those temperatures. During most of this, we'll be at or above freezing in the 30s on Saturday. So that also holds down the numbers just a little bit. Sunday, partly sunny skies, flurries, temps near 37. It will be a wintry weekend, no question about it. And we're watching another system to start next week. This is a clipper. Clippers tend to start off pretty innocuous, but as this hits the coastline heading into Tuesday and Wednesday, it should develop very rapidly. Rapidly. The biggest question for us with this storm is, will it develop on top of us, just along our coastline, or a little too late off toward the east? That's something we'll nail down in the next few days. But it will definitely bring in a lot of cold, and it'll have more wind involved with that storm system. The core of the cold will be here for Wednesday and Thursday, coming right down out of the Arctic, and then it will start to move back out as we head into Friday and Saturday. So here's your full seven-day outlook, and it is an active wintry one, no question about it. We'll get some melting on Sunday and Monday. And that chance for some more snow and rain as well as wind on Tuesday into Wednesday morning. And highs on Wednesday and Thursday will likely stay just in the low 20s. David and Lisa, back to you.